Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be doing a full review of a product called Tiny Brander. The product is by John Botel and Simon Warner and it goes live on June the 2nd at 11am EST. Now you may not know who John Botel is, but he is actually the product creator behind products like Convertry, which is a funnel building software which has been around for a long time um, and allows people to go and build their funnels, for example in affiliate marketing. And as you can see the reviews that this particular software has got is really high, 4.8% uh, out of five people are saying that the product itself is really good so you know that he produces quality products and he's done the same thing again with this tiny brand of software now normally I do affiliate marketing products because that's the, the market I'm in but I do have a soft spot for e-commerce because I've been in this area before many years ago when I was looking at ways of creating an income online now I had to buy my products in bulk and this is where the tiny brander stands out for me because effectively if you've heard of Teespring or gear bubble where you can go and buy things as and when someone buys it and then it's automatically printed designed and then shipped for you this is what this business in the box is so if you have an audience and you're a personal trainer or if you're into yoga or into nutrition whatever it is if it's around the health market then you already have an audience of people that would be interested and trust you and they would buy your products and you can brand your products and have uh, John Botel and his team send those supplements out to your audience and that is exactly what this product is about so I want to go through the sales page in a bit more detail I'm also going to take you into the back office so we can see how easy this is actually to use and then I'm going to give you my opinion as to whether or not I think this is something you should be considering buying so before I go into the dashboard, I actually want to talk to you about what Tiny Brander is. I'll just go through the sales page briefly so you understand exactly what's being proposed here. So effectively, what John has done is he's taken the same business model as Teespring, where you can have products shipped on demand. So when someone buys, you then go and buy it from Teespring, you upload your design, and then they ship the product for you. That is exactly what you're going to get with this um, Tiny Brander product. So it's a first to market, and it's in four niches which are all around the health and wellness industry so if you've heard of Nutra so it's anything to do with um, skincare supplements to do with you know diet and health that's the market you're in and I'll actually scroll down and show you the four markets that currently he has products in and he is looking to expand on this so these products will will increase over time so you've got skincare you've also got CBD which is a massive market as well and then you've got the nutrition um, in terms of keto which is another really big market and mental health which is really really booming at the moment more men are taking more care about what they're doing so effectively as I said before if you've already got an audience and you're a trainer of some description you can just boost your revenue straight out out the gate simply by offering your current clients your supplements with your brands and that's exactly what you'll do you'll actually put your name on it so step one you choose the niche you can choose from one of those four niches you create your store you brand the products within the platform itself and then you can then craft your offers you can do upsells loads of different things with regards to upsells and it's all done within the software itself and then if your customer buys John will ship the products obviously take the cost of the goods out of the um, cost that the customers paid and then you keep the profit and that is the business model just like it is with Teespring and Gearbubble and all these other products um, other sites like that you get to have your own store doing exactly the same thing so let's have a look at the um, dashboard itself and how this product actually works so this is your dashboard for Tiny Brander and it's very, very clean. You can see here it just gives you an overall view of your stats. So, you know, how many stores you've got going, your orders, total customers, net profit and any messages that you've got within this platform. So yeah, on the left hand side, you've got store management. This is where you'll go and you can actually add your store and you can obviously make changes to your store, etc. Got wallet transactions bulk orders, settings, and then resources where they've got lots of videos that talk to you about how to actually use this product and the software itself. Then you've got creative credits where you can take advantage of their team to do some designing for you, which is one of the upsells, but we'll talk about that later on. So this is the main platform. So these are the stores that people have actually been using for this pre-launch. We can have a look here. Let me just close this window, but it does talk to you about the CBD um, creation if you're setting it outside of the USA then that you need to research the jurisdiction of 
this particular product because certain countries weren't allowed to sell it. Um, obviously in the US they're more relaxed about it now, but certain places you might not be able to do that. So he's telling you to do your own research before you try and ship to those areas. So effectively these are the stores. I'm going to have a look at one of these now just so you get an idea of what it looks like. This is one that I did earlier, it's just a, just a tester site. But effectively this is what you'll be sending your um, audience to. So it's a, a full blown website which talks about the product, gives you all the benefits and talks to you about the um, money back guarantees and everything. But this is the most important bit because the graphics look great. You will have your product with your image on here which you'll be able to go and use the brander for. And then this is where your customer will fill out their details and when they go rush my order they will be given other upsells depending on what you set up in the back office it's really easy to set up um, and I'll show you how to do it in a second I'll start from scratch and we'll go through the whole process itself but effectively even if you don't have a web presence at the moment and you're a personal trainer you can send someone to this link now you can have your own uh, domain name if you wanted to and you can attach it to this but you but you know you don't have to but I would advise you do that because you want to look professional but this is the kind of store that you can produce and I'll have another look at another one to see if there's any of these ones are actually up let's have a look at um, this one this one's all around the men's health um, so if someone's put a brand up there or put a logo I would probably go with something a bit better than that but effectively you can see the quality of the store itself you've got the image of the product and then it gives you some details about the product why they should be using it etc and then further down they can go and order that product as well so you can see the stores are you know professional looking and then all you need to do is make sure that you send your traffic to these pages and like I said if you've got an audience then you've already got um, basically revenue you can take advantage of today so before you go and start your store or anything like that the first thing you need to do is come into your settings now the settings is basically so you can set up your payment uh, gateways so not only how you get paid but also how your customers can pay on your site so you can choose from PayPal, Razorpay, Stripe, Klarna, Square, Authorize.net and Braintree so you can go and set up accounts with all these and enter all these payment options just to make it easier for your customer. You can also add an autoresponder so you can add your GetResponse or Aweber or MailChimp or Active Campaign so you can set up email campaigns again some of the email swipes you get part as part of this product as well so you have emails already pre-written for you so you can use that to get your customers to come back and make further purchases then you've got wallet settings now this is the important bit from your perspective because this is where you will have to load up your wallet so you need to be able to make sure that you have enough money in here to allow John to ship the goods once they have been sold now don't worry you don't have to pay for anything until somebody buys something but effectively if you don't have any money in this wallet if somebody buys then John will notify you that someone's bought but they won't ship the goods until you've actually obviously covered the cost of the product itself so once you've done that then you can go across and actually start creating a site and I'll go through the process quickly it's really easy you can give the store a name I'll give this one um, and then you've got to leave a contact number because no one's going to buy from a website it doesn't have a contact number so you you really want to do that then you create store and then it says success your store has been created so now we need to choose the products we're going to go with obviously I chose CBD so I'm going to choose that we click continue now we can add a custom domain if we wanted to do that so you can go and buy a custom domain and then you can point it to this store and then there's instructions here how to go and set that up as well and there are further videos in the resources to show you in video format how to actually go about doing that for the purpose of this I won't do that so we just click next now this is the products these are the products in this particular area we've got cream we've got patches we've got capsules and we've got oil as well now you can see here this is the suggested selling price now you can change that if you want to and then you've got enter offer prices and then you can change to upsell as well now these are the cost prices this shows you how much these products actually cost so this is what you will pay John and obviously this is what you'll be charging your customers when they come to your site so you can see there's a healthy margin in there um, and you can change that how you wish so if we wanted to have an offer for example if I just change this to uh, 35.95 as an offer you have to click return to save that price change so the cream jar is our lead product and then I want to have some upsells so we can change the prices on these other patches. So we changed that to $29.95 for example if they wanted to go for the upsell and we can choose that and then we can have an upsell number two which is the CBD capsule so we'll just click that number two. So you can change this up and once the store's up and running you can change the offers and increase the offers, have multiple offers so you've got the freedom to do that so you can increase your revenue basically. And then once we've done that we just click next 
list. Then we can select the, the payment gateways. I'm going to choose PayPal because that's a PayPal account is the way I want to get paid or the customers can get paid as well. Payment account, we need to choose one. I'm just going to choose the name that I gave the store earlier on. Select an autoresponder if you have one. If you haven't got one, just click continue. Obviously, you want to be able to do that. And this is the main bit where you'll pay um, for the product up front once somebody orders it. Then we'll just choose whichever wallet that you set up in the wallet section as well. So this is where you can give your store a title. You can give it a description, keywords. You can enter the... Um, basically, this is the meta description that Google will see for your store. But you're not going to... These sites aren't going to really rank in Google as such. You're going to be sending traffic via other ways. And we'll talk about how they do that a little bit later in in this review but once you've filled all these details out you just want to go to the compliance pages and then note these pages can be linked to the store templates by the url which basically means you've got your uh, privacy policy and your terms and conditions as part of the store setup which is really important next we want to go to templates and i'm going to choose this one because this is the store that um, this is the template that's currently in here there will be other templates as the product progresses and obviously you can pay john's team and the creative credits to do some extra work for you as well if you wanted to then we can go and the store is effectively live we can then share that store on your facebook page linkedin and twitter if you have pages that are dedicated to your brand or your you know if you're a personal trainer then you could add that in here as well so that is pretty much the store set up and it's ready to rock and roll so once you've completed the setup, this is effectively what your site will look like in this particular market. Now bear in mind, all of these elements here can be changed. You can actually go into the editor and change the site up if you wanted to do that. And you do that within the store management in terms of the um, uh, template section here. Now, you also want to be able to add your label. I didn't go into that in too much detail. Obviously, that will be something you'll go through in the training, but you basically hover over the product you want to create your label for. You go to create label, you add the label on the mockup, and then you can view the mock-up as well once you've done it. And I've just added just a, a random image on mine just so you can see that you can change that up. There are certain elements you can't change because of um, the rules around selling these kind of products. So you have to leave them alone. And that's with regards to nutrition and some other um, uh, compliance regulations. So once you've done that, that is your store. Now, how do you go about driving traffic? Well, then John's got that covered as well. And we'll go through how you're going to be driving traffic. If you haven't got an audience that's already predetermined, like I said, if you're not a personal trainer, etc., but you still want to get into this niche because you've already got a Teesprings account or gear bubble and you want to add the supplements into that as well. How do you go about actually driving traffic to your offers? In regards to traffic, John has got some resources in the back office which talk to you about using things like Facebook groups. So there's a mix of both free and paid traffic sources. Now, if you're brand new and if you don't have an audience, you know, like if you're not a personal trainer or, or into yoga and all the rest of it, then you won't, you won't have a ready-made audience. So you need to be able to know how to drive traffic. If you already have a Teespring store and you're driving traffic to that, then you pretty much know how to do that already. If you're brand, brand new, this is the only caveat I'll give. You know, you need to know how to drive traffic. Now, he gives you some great material, teaching you how to do it via, via Facebook in Facebook groups, which is completely free. He also talks to you about how you can use uh, CPA traffic networks. There's other traffic sources using YouTube and TikTok. Now, some of them are free and some of them are paid traffic sources. So just be aware of that. I want to be upfront because you will need to be able to drive traffic to your pages. They're not going to rank in Google. They're not going to rank on the first page for CBD or you have to know how to drive traffic. So if you have already made your audience, this is why I think this product is brilliant for those kinds of people. So if you go to resources and then you click on the traffic link here, you can search on the particular, for example, if you want to go into the Facebook groups, you click search and then you're given a load of videos which will talk to you about how you go about setting up your profile, how you reach out to other groups within Facebook, and then how you share your content across the platform to be able to drive free traffic to your um, landing page. So you've got Facebook, and if I go to another one, you've also got Instagram, you've got CPA Networks, you've got TikTok. So if I go to Instagram again, this will teach you how to use Instagram for free and drive traffic for free. So it talks to you about, you know, how to define your audience, contact you and your audiences, increasing your conversions, effectively giving you free traffic. But as I said, at the very start of the beginning, if you already have an audience of people and you're a personal trainer, that is the best traffic you could ever get because they're your clients. They know you, they like you, they trust you. They will buy your products if you tell them it's going to help them achieve their goals in whatever it is they're doing with you already.
So how much is Tiny Brand going to cost? Well, the front end product is 297. That's a one time cost that gets you access to everything in that back office that I've shown you. Then the two upsells are the design packages where you get the artwork done for you if you wanted to. And then OTO2 is the full store setup. So you leave with a finished store. So it's a few hundred dollars extra if you wanted to go down that route. There is a bundle package. And I'll leave a link in the description below, which saves you a further 124. And they give you all of that as part of that product. And the cost of that is 397. Uh, a one-time fee again before the price goes up to the uh, 1997 so that's exactly what the co uh, product itself costs so what's my final thoughts on tiny brander well my final thoughts are this if you already have an audience i.e if you are a personal trainer nutritionist yoga teacher anyone to do the that world of health and wellness then you have an audience already that know like and trust you and if you were to offer them your branded products you know the chances are they're going to buy and that's just a fact you know they already work with you they're paying you money um, if you're going to give them something that's going to help boost whatever it is they're trying to achieve with you weight loss or skincare then this is going to be a perfect fit for you you're in the, that right market space so that's great if you already have a teespring store or you already have a gear bubble store and you already know how to drive traffic again brilliant you know how the process works you could take advantage of the supplements industry as well which is worth billions per year and growing you know every year as well so that's definitely something you want to be considering if you're brand new and you have no idea about how to drive traffic then i would say this product isn't for you that's the honest truth um, i do reviews on lots of affiliate products where they teach you or they tell you this is a product you can make thousands of dollars with but the fact of the matter is if you don't know how to drive traffic you will not make any money it's as simple as that so you can go through and use the um, resources they give you in the back office for teaching you how to drive traffic you know uh, through Facebook groups and all the rest of it you can do that and I have generated an income from doing things like that myself but I just want to be upfront and honest and say you know look if you already have the audience this is a no-brainer you're just basically adding revenue to what you're currently doing and if you've got a teespring account and gear bubble account you know again you're just adding to what you're currently doing so that's my honest honest opinion if you're brand new then maybe not um, but if you have some experience or you've done physical products before then yeah definitely go for it because you'll have the backup of john and his team and the products themselves you know they're there ready to be shipped you don't have to do anything there's no upfront cost there's no inventory like i had to do with mine i had to buy thousands of dollars worth of product i had to pay designers thousands of dollars to produce the images etc etc and it was just a lot of upfront cost you don't have any of that with this product and this service so that's my opinion if you already have an audience then definitely definitely go for it so i hope this makes it crystal clear for you guys i hope the um, review has been useful if you've got any questions or comments please leave them below and if you want to take advantage of this offer then there is a link in the description below as well so i'd encourage you to go and check that out so thank you for taking the time my name's sean from affiliate income hero and i'll speak to you soon